We'll get right into this after this very, very important message. So listen very carefully. Appropriation is often about culture jamming, capturing the corporately controlled subjects of the one-way media barrage, reorganizing them to be a comment upon themselves, and spinning them back into the barrage for cultural consideration. Now, this is this endless cycle of things changing hands. The airwaves are supposed to be free, and here it is. You're out there in the public, you're making media, you're your star, you're whatever. That should be one of the prices of being out there, is, is being rearranged and, and reorganized. While I may be a librarian, I'm also a swinging eight-track chick. Oh, it made me sick. Twenty-five million dollars. What an utter waste. My wife stood down and landed on her head. And I naddled her for a minute and I had to pick her up. The time I got her up, we were both running again. And, uh, Did you run very fast? I ran just as fast as I could. We were barefooted. All, all we, were of us, we had to take our shoes off to keep from damaging the slide. to millions of people as the bearded guy with the rainbow-colored wig. He seemed harmless, but apparently he wasn't. Shortly after I arrived in Beaver State, I dropped my last name and took one of my middle names as my new last name. It was my great-grandmother's name, Scottish in origin, I mean, from where the ravens roost. I knew none of this when I decided to claim it as my new last name. Renick. A few weeks later, I moved into the house where I now sit and write this. The first night spent there, I slept in the front room and awoke to a strange noise. A thermonuclear war a thousand years ago blasts the planet apart into the billions of pieces that form the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Despite massive genetic damage, an elite core of Quetzals managed to escape in their disc-shaped spacecraft to Earth. using the name of the devil. They kill people by cooking them alive. They live on the rotten flesh of victims that have been harmed. They murder with poisons and evil spells. They drive men into madness. Mr. Stewart, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Get the word out for Jesus Christ. We're living at the end of the age. You like parasites. Average human we got now is a dim, forgetful, weak, superstitious creature who ruled by ignorance and fear only knows to lash out reactively in gut impulse and greed like the flock of mental cripples who flail against our trailer walls every night utterly devoid of any creative impulse any critical faculty any ethical aptitude total psychic amnesia